Hello, I'm Troy Stevens with Bremer Insurance. If you're considering transferring your farming operation to another person, you may want to learn more about how to take advantage of good production history through the Federal multi peril Crop Insurance Program. The basis for crop insurance is your actual production history, or APH. This is your actual acres planted and actual yields averaged for up to the most recent 10 years. If your APH is good, the person taking over the operation may want to use your APH for their crop insurance program. Ag Insurance Advisor Jesse Baker will explain two ways to transfer APH. The most common method to transfer APH is when the person taking over was involved in establishing the current operations. This involvement usually includes participating in both management decisions and the physical activities necessary to produce the crops. To qualify for this method, you will need verifiable evidence of two things. That you have participated in the management decisions and that you have performed the physical activities necessary to produce the crops. There is no set standard for what qualifies as verifiable evidence. We recommend keeping a diary of any of your activities that you think could qualify, in case you need to provide them for future audits. You can only count the years that you have been involved in the management and physical activities of the operation. This is true no matter how many years the operation has been in the crop insurance program. The current operator must agree to do this by signing a consent form for you to use in their history. For those in the beginning farmer or veteran farmer program, either the management decisions or physical activities may apply. This means you may not have to perform both management and physical activities. There is also a less common method to transfer production history. This method doesn't require the new operator to be involved in past management and physical activities of the operation. However, it does require that the new operator farm on a share rent basis with the previous operator for at least the first year. This method still requires you to have previous operator signature on the appropriate forms. You also need to have access to his or her records. We strongly recommend that you keep copies of these records. You will not be required to continue share renting after the first year of farming on a share rent basis. Instead, you will be allowed to use the previous operator's production history combined with your own. In the same way that you should have accurate and up-to-date financial records for your bank, it is also extremely important to have accurate and verifiable records for your crop insurance program. The Federal Crop Insurance Program performs random audits. It also requires audits when you have a loss over certain dollar amounts. If you are audited, you will be required to provide the records to the auditor. If your past history is not verifiable, it could result in the repayment of past claims and penalties. Having verifiable records is especially important for farms that include livestock. It can be more difficult to provide accurate data if you are feeding your crops to your livestock. Be sure to keep track of your livestock feeding records. They can be used to verify your production history. Thank you for watching today. If you have any questions about transferring crop production history, be sure to cover all your bases by consulting with a crop insurance advisor. And be sure to check out the other videos in our Ag series.